What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing the second installment of how to create a wrestler from MDT right here. And today we are going to be breaking down a couple superstars, but they are going to be WWE superstars. You know, the first episode we did break down how to create Flip Fokker, the first developmental talent in MDT, the MDT NXT. Flip Fokker, obviously he was in our Performance Center video. If you guys missed that, definitely go check that out. I am not done creating him just yet, but he is in the works and he's pretty much done just you know basic paint basic decal decal work here and there and he will be definitely good to go but here today guys we're going to be covering two talents how to create two different elite figures and i'll probably once i get all the parts in i'll probably do an actual like hands-on video showcasing it but if you guys you know how to know how to part switch know how to paint a little bit yourselves already then this will be super easy for you guys to create this yourselves but let's go ahead and dive in guys the first talent that we're going to cover is leo rush today we're going to talk about how to create your very own leo rush action figure and it's kind of crazy because on twitter the other day he was asking mattel where his figure is he was like can somebody he was like if mattel and ringside or whoever won't create me a figure or won't sell my figure or whatever the case obviously ringside doesn't make the figures mattel makes the figures but he tagged them i think and you know he was talking about you know why don't i have a figure just yet then he started talking about well screw it i'll just pay somebody or i'll i'll get somebody to make my own leo rush so today i'm going to tell you how you can make your very own leo rush and it's actually not the craziest formula it's actually not the most difficult thing to do in the entire world so today let's go ahead and break it down guys let's start everything off with the top of the of the figure right you got to start off with the head skull so if you guys are big leo rush fans like me like i am definitely going to be doing this and again i'll probably make a whole video creating it myself but what you're going to do first for the head sculpt guys is go over to figuregiant.com it is a custom wwe figure parts store online you just google figure giant will be the first link at the top there on google this is a store online by mad reaper he is a great customizer in the community. He's a beast. Over there, he does sell his own WWE figure parts. So he has a bunch of figure parts on there. Arms, torsos, legs, head sculpts, all kinds of stuff. So what you're going to do is go over to his link on his website. And you're going to go over to the little scroll down menu on the left-hand side. You click on menu. It should say BEWX Figure Giant or something like that. It's like the BEW section where he's created his own. You know, they, they've done collabs in the past. You're going to click on that link. On there, it does have two separate versions of a Leo Rush head sculpt. You can click on the unpainted version for $19.99 or you can buy a painted version for $39.99 obviously because BEW and Mad Reaper did work together. I think BEW did the paint job and the sculpt work and Mad Reaper made the cast and he has the store so they're collabing there and making that so a little bit of money goes to both of those guys and you're obviously getting the, the custom work, you're paying for the time put in, you're paying for the sculpt work and the Leo Rush head sculpt and everything involved. So that is what I would personally recommend whether you want to get the unpainted version and paint it up yourself or you want to get the painted version, this is where you will start off. This is the best base for a Leo Rush head sculpt that I can possibly recommend. It is definitely hands down the best. So for the head sculpt, you want to go over to Figure Giant and get that. If anybody else has a different, you know, a, you know, a different way of doing it, then please let me know. But I think personally that is the best way to do it. Let's move on to the torso, guys. For the torso, you have a couple options here. You can go, I guess it just kind of depends on the tights color you want of your Leo Rush. But I would recommend the Elite Kalisto. I think it's Elite 42 Kalisto or the Elite 48 Kalisto. You have two different versions here. Or you could even go a step further, go with the Elite 75 Kalisto. Kalisto, but all three of these have their different gives and takes. Obviously, if you want one in long tights of Leo Rush, you would obviously need to go with the Elite 42 or the Elite 58. Elite 58. What are you, stupid jackass? Elite 48? Or is it, is it Elite 42 and 48? I think it is. Anyways, you want to go with one of those because they have the long tights. All you got to do is acetone the designs off. You have the torso right there. And he doesn't have the back tattoo, I don't think, on either of those Kalisto figures. So, on his Elite 75 figure, he does have his brand new shoulder tattoo, and that will be very difficult. Don't ever acetone on a torso it's very difficult like it's it's very dumb like you could easily like the the same plastic that's made out of the torsos the plastic they use to make the torsos and the crotches for Mattel figures using acetone on that stuff will like eat through the plastic and it will ruin the figure so you definitely want to be careful when using any acetone on torsos that's why I would highly recommend doing a long tights Leo Rush unless you want to buy a Elite 42 or 48 Kalisto figure and then using the legs and switching that out with the Elite 75 Kalisto that way you can avoid the long tights or if you you know you avoid the tattoo on the torso and you can have the shorter tights leo rush so with these parts guys all you have to do is use your acetone you would then pop off the head of the Kalisto. you would acetone the arms and you would uh you could do some other things you can hand switch it with ray mysterio figures you can boot switch it with ray mysterio figures you can even leg switch it if you want you know different legs like base colors you want know, you could paint the crotch i mean there's so many different things you can do but this is the best basis for what you want to do so at this point you would have your leo rush head sculpt you'd have your Kalisto torso you'd have 
have your crotch, you'd have your legs, your boots, and your arms. The only thing that would be difficult is the hands. Now, the hands do get a little bit more difficult. Um, obviously, I would recommend getting the Elite 75 uh, arms as well. That way, you would have skin tone hands to put on there and arms. The gauntlets would be, you know, the forearm shivers or whatever on the arms would be a little bit long, but that's not the biggest deal in the world if you, you know, if you don't have a problem with that. Now, what you're going to do next is you're obviously going to have to have the tights logos or you're going to need the tattoo logos because Leo Rush is tatted the hell up. So, you're definitely going to want to go over to Curb Stomp City Custom Decals and type in Leo Rush on his website and punch that in. I am going to leave a link in the description to Figure Giant and to Curb Stomp City Custom Decals so you guys can go over there and get those decals and those custom parts if you want to make your own Leo Rush. Very simple you know, effort. He's got all the tattoos right there. He's got some tights designs, I do believe. And, you know, you just go over there, you purchase the stuff, and then you, you apply it. You know, just like on Action Figure Surgery, I, got, I showed you guys how to use the micro set and the micro sole. Very, very easy to do. If you guys need any, you know, work on that, I'll I'll actually leave another link in the description for the micro set and micro sole from Amazon, as long as I can find that link. If I find that link, I'll stick that in the description as well so you guys can go track that down, get that stuff. And I did break down how to use it on Action Figure Surgery Episode 46. So definitely go check that out. But as far as Leo Rush is concerned, guys, that's a pretty much perfect formula for it. You know, BEW did a fantastic job on his Leo Rush. I want one in my collection. I want to put him in the pick fed. So I think I am going to track down everything for a Leo Rush. I don't know how soon I'll do it. You know, I'm, I'm still working on that, but I am going to do that. I'll probably buy the painted version of BEW's because he can paint a lot better than I can, obviously. And I think I'd like his paint job better than my own. But we'll just have to see about that. But moving forward, guys, another custom that we're going to show you guys how to do here today or tell you all the parts you will need. Today we're going to be doing Matt Riddle. Now, there are a few ways you can do this, starting out with a head sculpt. Obviously, the only basic Matt Riddle there is is the Basic Series 103, I do believe. So for Matt Riddle's head sculpt, you really don't have an option unless you want to do your own custom thing or do something else. But as far as the rest of the body goes, really, really simple stuff. I personally would recommend any Seth Rollins figure that is, you know, Elite before, I think, is it anything before Elite 52? So we're talking cash-in exclusive Elite. Elite 45, Elite 37, any of those would work perfectly because if you work any, you know, if you use any other Seth Rollins, they're going to have the chest hair on there and Matt Riddle does not have chest hair. So that would force you to have to remove that chest hair and removing that, you know, removing, you know, paint and, and chest hair and stuff off of a torso from Mattel is very difficult when you're using acetone because, again, it will eat the plastic and that is something we don't want. So I would highly recommend not to do that. There is, however, a tattoo on the back so that you may run into an issue with that. It's not the biggest deal, but you can use very light acetone and you should get away with it um, and it's a very small tattoo you know those little thin uh, let the lettering on the back of Seth Rollins in on his spine there is not very much at all but what you're gonna do is take that Seth Rollins and you are going to remove it at the thighs so you would remove it you know right where the lower leg is you know where the thigh cut is the little thigh cut right there where it articulates little thigh swivel you're just gonna unplug that right there you're gonna plug in defining moments Ric Flair or Hall of Fame Ric Flair legs. So the Hall of Fame Ric Flair, Ric Flair thighs are very simple. It's from the Hall of Fame 4-pack. I think this figure is very cheap. Or you can get any Defining Moments Ric Flair, any GameStop exclusive Ric Flair, and just take the thighs. You only need the thighs of the perfect size for that, you know, for that. And not only can you use the thighs from the Ric Flair, but you're going to use the arms as well because we want bare arms, and uh, those work perfectly for, you know, a Matt Riddle figure. So you're going to use those bare arms for Matt Riddle, and you are going to use the thighs and then the knees too. Don't forget the knees. You also want to use the knees. But after that, all you need is the lower legs from a Jax UFC figure. And this kind of varies. I don't know exactly what figures work and what figures do not. Obviously, you're going to need a lighter skin tone. I think Shogun Roa works. And then there are some other figures out there. Um, I would just try, definitely try the lighter skin tone, guys. Don't try any other skin tones. I would try any lighter skin tones. Those are the best ways to go because those are probably the most accurate and the ones that are going to match the best with Mattel skin tone because I know that the ones that I use, I think I used a Shogun Roa UFC Jax figure. Using that figure and using the lower legs from that, I just acetone the, I think there's a tattoo on the calf or the, the shin of that figure. You just, you know, acetone that off and then they fit just, they plug in perfectly, they work perfectly, they scale perfectly, and it's kind of crazy how well they work 
for an elite, you know, Matt Riddle and the one that I use in the pick fed, in the pick fed. I definitely don't use Matt Riddle in the pick fed, but for any videos, you know, he was in yesterday's video where we broke down all the, the customs of 2020. That is the exact formula I use for my Matt Riddle, and I personally think it's the best one. I think some people out there use a Ric Flair as, you know, part of it. You could use, you, you could use, this is another thing you could do, you could use the thighs from something else. You could use Ric Flair as the base, just remove the Ric Flair head, and still use the, uh, the torso, the arm, the crotch and the upper thighs from the Ric Flair and just paint them or you could I mean there's so many different options I'm just telling you my favorite option would be the Elite Seth Rollins way then you just have to tattoo you can get the tattoo off curb stomp you can paint the tattoo on his ribs it just kind of depends on what you want to do but I've left links in the description for all of this stuff but that is exactly how I would do any Elite Leo Rush custom going forward if you guys want my personal opinion or if I was going to make another Matt Riddle I thought about making one using the cash in exclusive so I could have him in the black and gold I think that'd be really sick since I have a white and gold one, I think it'd be really cool to see a black and gold Matt Riddle, you know, using the same formula, but we'll just have to see about that. I'm super hyped to see what Mattel comes up with. I've actually contacted Mattel, um, some people I know at Mattel, to see if I can get an answer on the Leo Rush thing, and maybe I can make a video or something like that explaining to you guys about what I find out. So we'll just have to see about that, but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. I hope you guys do enjoy your Easter. Happy Easter to everybody out there if you're celebrating something. You know, stay safe out there, whether you're doing something at home, you can celebrate at home. I don't think I'm doing anything crazy. I am going to, you know, create some Easter eggs or some ish. I don't know, man, you know, stuff like that. But happy Easter to everybody out there. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you want to see any other custom tutorial videos like this on how to make somebody or break it down, let me know down in the comment section below, guys. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.